going on guys? My name is Family Shucks and welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans. This is episode 2 of our 3 star classroom and today we are joined with Slifer going to be attacking Dice with some Goho Wee Wee. So let's do a quick rundown of Dice's base before we look into how Slifer attacks the base. So Dice has a very strange base. Um, so let's just go through it. Let's look at the Tesla placements. So we're going to put Teslas in orange. Um, there are two in the core and then one up top. Now the huge problem with this base is because Cypher is going to be attacking this with hogs, he takes advantage of the fact that Dice does not have an anti-hog base. So if you notice, in some of these compartments, they do not have any defenses. Um, and then another point that I want to point out um, is that this base does not have any double giant bomb placements. Now you would think that there would be some in the core, but luckily for Slifer, there's a Tesla. And so the giant bomb placements are all on the outside in separate compartments. And that is going to be a huge problem for Dice, especially since Slifer is going to be attacking this with hogs. So you can see that Slifer, uh, not Slifer, but Dice really favors the town hall side with giant bombs. And I think he's basically focusing on ground attacks like Go Wipe or Go Wee Wee, trying to take out the witches or wizards with these giant bombs. So that is the basic overview of Dice's base. Um, you can see the Teslas in orange, the double giant bomb, or the giant bomb placements, and also pointing out that there are no defenses in some of these compartments. Now let's look at how Cypher decides to attack this base. So as I pointed out, there are no defenses in these compartments. And basically from the start, he um, he lures or he places down a couple of hogs and because there is a Tesla here it pops up and the hogs manage to take out this compartment also so in the start of the raid there are no defenses in these three compartments so Slifer notices that and he ends up placing three groups of hogs one right here and then two over on this side. Now you notice the spacing between these two groups of hogs. Now this pack right here, let's put it in some nice cyan, um, but this group right here will be coming in from here and then going like straight into the core. As for this group on the outside, they're going to be coming in at this cannon and then going all on the right side. And then obviously for the left hand group, there's going to be coming in on this wizard's tower and then they're just working their way across the left hand side. Now you might be wondering about the whole defenses on this side, on this corner right here. Well, because Sliver is going to be using Goho Wee Wee, he's going to be placing his golem on this corner, breaking into this compartment, placing a jump right here, and then taking out the heroes and this arch queen using his own heroes, and then jumping right into the core with his kill squad. Now he's going to be luring on this side as I pointed out previously taking out this Tesla breaking this compartment right here and also at the same time getting this full clan castle lure and then he's going to take the whole enemy clan castle down to this bottom corner place his kill squad as well as his arch queen and basically start his attack from here and he's going to be ending up killing this trash ring using some wizards deployed right there and right there and then just going straight in with his hogs. Now for his heal placements, because his kill squad basically takes out this whole bottom corner, he only really has to focus on his hogs in these three areas. Um, so that allows him to work his way across the base faster as well as save a good amount of hogs. And I just wanted to point out for a final note that this compartment does not have any defenses like where I circled. So there's an elixir collector and a dark elixir collector. So when these two packs of hogs go in, they're just basically going to converge into this wizard tower. So that's basically it, and let's just jump right into this gameplay. Ooh, I am excited to see Slifer's 3 star. So to start off, as I just said, he intentionally wanted to go for that wizard tower, but luckily a Tesla popped up, and he ended up getting the full clan castle lure. And he's just going to take them all the way down to this bottom corner and place down two of his witches as well as his 223 or his 221 um, clan castle with some witches. And that's basically his kill spot right there. They're going to be spawning a ton of skeletons 
in order to take out the outside buildings and also enough to take out the enemy heroes and the clan castle. So one wizard goes down as well as the second wizard just to kill that trash ring and then he's going to be breaking into that compartment using his golem and some wall breakers. Luckily that golem took out a giant bomb so that way his wooches do not get killed as well as his heroes do not take any damage. So now the three groups go in. You can just see them working on the outside. Just as we laid out, the hogs are going to be going on the outside, and this middle pack of hogs is going to be going straight into that core. So now his heroes are inside that core, and they're going to be doing a ton of damage. You can see the witches on the bottom side are going to be killing that arch tower and that air defense, but his barbarian king is inside the core, taking out the town hall and also everything else inside that core. So he still has a huge pack of hogs working on the top hand compartment and that is just enough to take out the remaining defenses. Now his arch queen is going to be taking out that Tesla and then he's going to be acting the queen's ability to spawn a little bit more archers to help clean up the rest of the base. So now there is about 35 seconds left in this raid and it is game over for dice. Complete 3 star, complete annihilation. Slifer is definitely one of our better or our best Town Hall 9 attackers. Um, he always uses Go Wee Wee or any form of Holo Wee Wee or anything like that inside a war and always gets 6 stars. So he is our top Town Hall 9 attacker and he is just amazing. So now we're just getting close to the end of this raid. 5 seconds left. Two buildings left, and that is going to be an easy three star for Slifer. So that is about it for today. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.